Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing? Let's turn my speakers down here. Got a little bit of loudness here. Loudness here. <clears throat> We got Jenny and Anthony in the chat. How's it going? How are you guys doing tonight? Fair warning. I uh, I don't know exactly how long I'm going to stream tonight. I've been kind of sick the last few days. Haven't even been shaving the old head down. But we do have a few things to unbox tonight. We do have a giveaway going on. We'll get to that here a bit later. Let's give it a few minutes. Let a couple people hop in with us here. Just trying to get a few things set up here. Still out hunting shiny. Ah, you mean Pokemon. All right, so everybody who's here, welcome. Let me know if there's any issues with the audio or anything like that. We're going to give it a few minutes, let a couple people jump in here with us, and then uh, we're going to be doing some unboxings tonight. I got a couple cool things to open up, including some future videos coming up. We got a little little giveaway, just something I thought would be kind of fun. It's going to be fairly specific, though, so it's not going to be something everybody's going to want, but it came in with a decent deal, so I thought, why not? Let's Let's just give some of it away. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun, Anthony. Fixing a water pump. A water pump in what? Malice Ver, welcome, welcome. How you doing tonight? So I guess for the first few people here, I can start out by just showing you guys exactly what we're going to be unboxing tonight. And then I can go over, uh, well, there's going to be a couple giveaways, one of them just for the live stream, but we have another video coming out, I believe, on Wednesday, where we're going to be giving out quite a few headphones, and we're going to open one of them up, too. All right, so as far as uh, unboxing goes here. We're going to open up a couple of things. One, I picked up this guy. I don't know if I showed this off on the last stream or not. I can't remember, but I need to get it out of the box and start using it. Uh, two, this is going to be the giveaway. So if you don't know what this is, you might not need it, but this is gaming RAM for a computer. Um, I got this deal where I ended up getting a couple of packs. The other one's up here. I don't need them both, so I figure we'll do a little giveaway. And then the company Tagri has decided to sponsor a video now in their sponsorship they said can we send you a pair of headphones and you review them i'm like well honestly for just a pair of 50 dollars headphones normally i would charge for that kind of video because it's not going to be something people want to see people don't just want to see a single dedicated video but i said i'll tell you what if you send me over five pairs i'll do the video and i'll give them away so we're going to be giving away a few of those that'll be fun but that's not tonight that's coming up but we are going to unbox one tonight We give it just a couple more minutes here before we start jumping into stuff. I kind of, I kind of ran out of time and I had to use an old thumbnail. Hey, Cam, how you doing? How's it going? We're just getting a couple last minute things set up. I kind of ran out of time today. And let's just say I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to be for the stream. Hey, 3D Prince, welcome back. How you doing tonight? 
So for those who are just jumping in, we're going to be doing a little bit of unboxing tonight. Got a little giveaway. It was just something kind of extra I had kicking around. So, you know, I thought I'll, uh, I'll share it with the community here. I was just trying to sort something out here. So bear with me for a minute here, guys. Yeah, yeah, Anthony's new to the 3D printing world, 3D prints. So make sure to, you guys should definitely link up. FC the Cat, welcome. F FC the Cat, wasn't it FC the Rock? Did you change your name or am I confusing two things? Also, if anybody else got any interesting tech type stuff, you know, this week, let me know. Let's talk about it. What did you guys get? What are you guys looking to get? Got any questions about it? Need some recommendations? We're here for you. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually working on my thumbnail. You guys want to see it? I'm just trying to throw something a little better together here. I, uh, I was, I've been, I've been sick and I've been so busy with work lately that I kind of, yeah, I kind of been slacking. So not really slacking. I've just been out of time. It has been, it has been a week. Oh man, sorry guys, my whole chat was just lagging for a sec. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so you did change your name. Good, I'm not crazy. All right, Dustin the Dragonfire, welcome back, man. Uh, let's see what else. Hologram fans, Dustin the Dragonfire, I have actually seen hologram fans up close and personal at CES. I will try to share some video with those in a second. The problem is, when recording the video, I couldn't get my frames right. So they looked amazing in person. So amazing in person. And then on my videos, they looked really choppy and not great. Oh, I totally just, I, I started reading chat and I forgot what I was doing. Okay, I remember now. But yes, uh, the hologram fans are quite impressive. Quite impressive. Super cool. All right, let's go here. We're gonna, let's see, we'll pull this in. That'll work for now. Guys, I am not great at thumbnails. So thank you all for clicking on my videos. <laughs> all right, let me do a quick, quick change out here. Yeah, let me see if I can find that footage I had on, um, on those hologram fans. Session drops, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, let's see. You see reviews in them. I'd love to have a few, but I think they might be loud. So, all right, let me see. I got to find these pictures. Um, I got to dig through some files here. So this is going to take me a quick second. So, I tried recording those hologram fans on two different things. One on my phone, two on my camera. I tried changing my recording rate, my FPS, but I didn't end up using a lot of the footage because it just, it didn't look good in video. But at least maybe I can figure out, there was one way they kept them from being loud at the show. 
most of them were encased in like plexiglass, right? So let me see if I can find those. All right, let's pop this up here. So if you look here, this is a video I was taking right here at CES and they looked super choppy and horrible, right? And then uh, here's another one without a random person in it that I probably shouldn't have. But yeah, like, I don't know what it is. They just, they look so bad, but yet in person, man, those things were absolutely crystal clear. So that was super weird. <coughs> Even when I tried to take pictures of them, they would end up like this. I, yeah, they would just, they looked all spacey and just wrong. But yeah, in the video, you gotta get your FPS right. You have to record at the exact right frames to make it work. Um, I'm pretty sure I had some of that saved in my CES footage too. Let me find it. That wouldn't be hard to find. One sec. But yeah, loudness wise, they weren't crazy loud because they were in a case. All of them pretty much that I saw was in a case. Let's see, that would have been, nope, I can't find the footage from my camera. But yeah, so a lot of those videos you see online where they look crystal clear and super nice, they're not wrong. Uh, I actually should reach out to one of those companies, see if they want to work out something so I can get one in and test it out because they are super cool. And I would definitely uh, like to show you guys them. Actually, I have one of the cards. I got a card from one of the companies who uh, makes them. So I should reach out to them. Also, if my voice sounds a little off, sorry, everybody. I've been pretty sick this week. <laughs> All right, so real quick. How many people will be interested in this as a giveaway? This is DDR4 3400 megahertz Kingston Fury Ram. Brand new, sealed. Now, I would understand, if, like, basically only say you'd be interested in this if you know what it is and you would use it. I just, I had two sets. I don't need two sets. You know, you know I like giving you guys back stuff. Dustin, what company are you considering looking to to uh, to get one? Maybe send me over a link and I'll, I'll try to check them out beforehand to see if they're worth it. And I have a decibel meter so I can test the sound. All right, so at least one person will be interested in this as a giveaway. If I get a few more people interested in this as a giveaway, though, we'll, we'll make it happen. Um, I got two sets of them, and I was going to keep one as a backup for some of the older systems. But, but yeah. And I guess, you know, if somebody else won it, they could always just turn around and sell it. No big deal either way. Yeah, let me know the uh, let me know the brand, Dustin. We'll pop them up and take a peek. I know there's some super cheap ones on like Ally Express, but I don't know. Like those ones are gonna more like display like an LED clock. The ones I saw at CES, those things would just it would look like a person is right in front of you. Those were crazy. Let me see what Amazon's kicking around. Let's hop on over here. So I think these really expensive ones, these are gonna be the probably the type that I saw at CES. That, that looks like a scam. Cause you are not gonna see the hologram popping up. Like that is, that is not how this works at all. You are not gonna see the hologram above the fan. The fan is gonna be sitting sideways uh, like this. And it's going to make the image as the fan spin. The thermal take tower seat. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Hold on. Thermal take tower 300. Let's take a peek. Oh, that's a pretty nice looking. Uh, that's a pretty nice looking micro tower ATX case. I like that. You know, it very well could have been there. I don't even remember seeing a thermal take booth. Here's what we're talking about, guys. This is a computer case. It's called a micro tower, <coughs> which means it's going to take like a mini ITX board and stuff like that to build this. No, that's a really good looking case though. I use the uh, thermal take P3 or P5 myself. Mine's a, mine's a big old beefy boy. It's mounted up here on the wall. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing that, but man, there were so many booths at CES. It was so hard to keep track of all that stuff. Uh, let's see. I just want to see more, more computer options for mounting on the wall. That's what I want to see. Da, 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 da. All right, let me see. I will show you guys my setup for those who haven't seen it. I need to really clean this room up and get a better picture of my setup. It's been a while. All right. No, no, no. Where are we? I really got to get rid of some files. It's getting crazy. All right, here. Let's, uh, yeah. So this is, uh, this is my setup as of a few months ago, probably four or five months ago. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I changed out this chair. I added a third monitor up here, but that's the case I'm using. That's called the Thermaltake P3 or P5. I can't remember if it's a P3 or P5. It's been a while. But I have it mounted on the wall, all the cables running through the wall. So it's... Uh, I love the case. Open airflow. Gets a little dustier than normal. I got to clean it out about once a year. Not a huge deal. And I don't have to clean it out. It's never like been overheating on me, but you know. Also, for those who were here last week, um, it doesn't get crazy dust. It gets a little dusty, but I'd say once, maybe twice a year, I, I take the fans off the cooler and I just spray it out and it's good to go. Guys, I opened this on stream last week, didn't I? I can't remember. I can't remember if I opened this last week on stream. I have been so out of sorts. I got like bronchitis or something. They've got me on all sorts of pills. It's been a fun time. You guys let me know if I opened this last week because I can't remember. It's a little numpad. Hey, Kyle, thank you for the super chat, my guy. So far, what well, you've missed, let's get you caught up. So number one, we're going to be doing a little giveaway tonight. We're giving away some Kingston Fury DDR4 3400 megahertz gaming RAM, brand new. We're going to be opening a few things. We're going to be opening up this. This is my new numpad. So I have all these awesome, cool keyboards up here on the wall, but I keep using this keyboard here because it has a numpad don't get me wrong this is a great keyboard but my other keyboards let's just say my other keyboards are kind of in a world of their own right so i got the numpad so i can start using my other keyboards so that's this we're going to go into that here in a little bit we got a couple more things from the next Timu video right here we're going to open up then we're going to open up and check these out these are the tagri headphones tagri reached out to sponsor a video and since they don't have a budget to pay, they just wanted me to review their headphones. I said, yes, I'll review your headphones, but you got to send me five pair so I can give some away. So we're going to open up one pair tonight, but the giveaway will be coming up, I think, on Wednesday in the video. Yeah. I, the reviews on these things are phenomenal. They have like 65,000 five-star reviews on Amazon, so I'm very curious to check them out. Oh, this is a cool one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who here has heard of this company? Let me see. AirUp. Who here has heard of AirUp? It's that whole water bottle with no sugar and no flavors that you're supposed to smell the flavor and it's supposed to taste good. I ordered one. The stupid water bottle cost me like 50 bucks just for the water bottle. I want to test it out because I want to know if it's a scam. Because I don't think it's as good as half of the people say I'm going to order the circle one too, because I have seen tons of people just pushing this. Like they must be paying huge sponsorships. Yeah. That's why I haven't started the video yet. I'm all stuffed up still. So I got to give it some time. Yeah. It is all over YouTube, but they're not sponsoring this video because I'm not going to be doing sponsor points on it. If that thing sucks, I'm going to say it sucks and it's a scam. But I'm also very curious because I've seen very mixed results. 
I watched a video. Who the heck? I watched a video of a YouTuber kind of bashing it a few weeks ago. But then he had a couple people around him try it. They thought it was good. I'm like, but he hated it. And I don't, I don't think it's going to be good, but I'm going to try it. We're going to give it a fair run. And then I don't remember quite what's in this bag, but it should be the rest of... Also, if this is the rest of my team order, what are they doing? Where's all my bright orange lettering on my packages? Let me just take a peek inside this bag. Because that's what's supposed to be in this bag. It is. That's what's in this bag. Check this out, guys. This is a Timu package with no Timu labeling anywhere on it. How crazy is that? Weird. Yeah, Mr. Beast's last video where he went to the uh, abandoned city, they were just raving about it. And I'm like, well, Mr. Beast isn't a review channel, right? He is an entertainment channel who's there to make money. And he's got, an, he's got lots of people to pay and all this different stuff to do. So good on him. I get it. But I want to know if all these YouTubers are telling the truth. So that's what the video is going to be about. I think I might name the title, Are YouTubers Lying to You? But I'm going to be honest either way. I'm not just going into it hoping to bash it. I really want to test it out and know. But either way, their bottle price, ridiculous. That is horrible. Yeah, I can actually show that phone off now that the video's out. I have the phone sitting right next to me. Let's see if it's still charged. It's not. But this is the phone that I just did the video on. I, I showed you guys just the color of it last week, but now we can kind of check the whole thing out. I'm going to charge it up. Let me plug it in. Oh, it might already be charged up. Yeah, this phone is stellar. <clears throat> and keep in mind, the company new did send me this phone, but they didn't send me talking points. Like They're not like, you have to say this is a good phone. They don't pay me for the review. They just sent me the phone. So completely honest review for 300 bucks. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I already started up. 99%. Look how bright that thing is. Camera's having trouble focusing on it. It's so bright. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, Anthony. Theirs was circle, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing the air up thing too. Uh, okay, so those cables actually, I'm actually replacing that whole thing. I'm replacing that whole thing with a wall setup. It's coming in soon. Because normally, aside from the stream, that would never be in the videos. But once I built all this back here and cleaned this up, now I'm going to be making that look nice. I can't really move, move it out of the image. Um, yeah, no, that's all in the plans in the future here. Oh, no, I don't do track cables. I'm going to run all the cables through the wall so you can't see them at all. That's the way I prefer to do it myself. Especially on a wall like that, because that wall is not insulated. I built that wall, so I know it's not insulated. So it'll be real easy to just put some grommets in, run them right through. Well, if you'd like, I can show you some pictures of what I'm talking about. Let's see. All right. I will show you. Let's, uh, boom, left cam now. All right. So if you look here, this is one of the wall grommet pass throughs here, right? This is all the wires that run into the wall for my computer. They go down underneath my table. And if you look here, they come out here. It's all cable managed here and then goes back up to my computer here. Also, cool little fun fact, this right here is actually a button. This button right here turns on the LEDs that run around it, and it turns on my speakers. It's all wired to a separate switch. And then over here, you can see this is where the other ones. See all these little tiny wires? Those little tiny wires are the LED wires. I had to solder them all together. It's, it, I had to kind of custom build the whole thing. Jorge Arroyo says, Shalom and blessings. Blessings to you as well, my friend. Uh, do you think Timu's tech gadgets are worth buying? Some, yeah. But like, do you have anything specific you were looking at on Timu? 
because I've done a lot of videos, you know, honestly, some people take what I say wrong. So they think I'm paid by Timu and that I'm just trying to tell you to buy all their stuff. But really, I, I just keep an open mind, right? Like if we're looking at something from Timu, I'm going to say whether or not I think it's good for the price, if that makes sense. But uh, Jorge there, Arroyo, if you have anything specific you want me to pull up or that you're looking to get, let me know. We're going to be unboxing a couple things from Timu here tonight. Uh, session on the wall behind me, yes, it was kind of a pain because I did insulate this wall. So it was a little bit of work, but it wasn't too bad. Best thing to do, just get a long stiff wire and push it up along the insulation. Not too bad. All right, what do you guys say we jump into a little bit of unboxing and then if... Wait, is that Jorge or George? I'm so used to uh, Jorge who's in here. That might be George. Mr. Arroyo. Arroyo, <laughs> let me know if it's George or Jorge. I, I'm sorry about that if it is. Just let me know. Let's, let's jump into our first unboxing here. Let's check this out. So this, this is cool because I'm going to finally start using all my fancy keyboards. <laughs> All right, so this, this is the Epo Maker EK21. This thing is literally just a numpad, a numpad for your computer. So if you use a shorter keyboard without a numpad, or if you don't use a numpad all the time, right here. Let's jump in right here first. Let's see what they come with. All right, so check this out. Even though it's just a numpad, it is hot swappable. We can pull out the keycaps and switches. Comes with a nice puller. Nice cable too. Might be a little stiffer than what I'd prefer. Uh, yeah, yes, Kyle, it can be used in the States. This one right here is currently active using, um, uh, one sec, let me get my fingerprint in there. I've been working outside a lot lately, and I've tore up my fingerprints, so none of my uh, none of my things are working. So right now, I'm on 5G LTE. Uh, let's see if we can focus it. It's not focusing on here. Let's try it in the other camera. So maybe this will work. All right. See in the top top uh, corner here. Nope. Here. 5G LTE. That's using the T-Mobile network through Mint Mobile, and it works great. Back to the overhead here. Okay, so we got some accessories here. This feels like an extra keycap. Nope, not that knife. That knife's finally getting dull on me. Actually, that's just some really strong plastic. All right, so it looks like it comes with an extra backspace key. Now, this is probably going to be the, one of the first things I change on this board because whatever board I end up using, I'm going to want this thing to match it. So let's hop into it. So this, this is the board. Now, I know you guys are thinking, well, that just looks like a basic board. Well, I got to plug it in, silly. Let's plug it in. Let's see how she looks. All right, we got a cable plugged in. So right here on the back, first off, it does have wireless as well, uh, right there. This is your wireless 2.4 gigahertz dongle. It's also gonna have Bluetooth and wired, USB type C. I haven't actually seen this thing on yet, so. Oh yeah. Oh, the volume control works right away. But yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there. Let me get it on the other camera. This one doesn't seem to want to focus on this as well. So again, this isn't anything crazy special, but it's only like 35 or 40 bucks and it's all hot swappable. So this is gonna do exactly what I need. I can replace all these keycaps, all the switches, so I can make a full setup. Um, I think I'm gonna use the Nufi Acura board. That's probably gonna be the board I'm gonna use. So what I wanna do is if we go back to the overhead camera here, I think I want to switch to 
wrong button, this board. So what I need to do is I need to get some keycaps that match this so I can put them on here. Nice little complete set because I really like how this has a volume knob on the left side. And then there's also one here which I can program to do something else. So I'm like, sweet. So that's my general plan. So hopefully I'll be switching over soon. Now let me unplug it and give you guys a sound test. Oh, I don't know if that's coming through very well, but that sounds really good here. Let me pause the music for a sec. That's got a really nice sound to it. I like that a lot. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, you're free. Okay, so it's George. Got you. Okay. Uh, some of the music tech, since I'm a musician and I'm trying to find good and affordable musical equipment. Uh, well, George, throw me, uh, throw me a couple of things. Like, what do you mean by musical equipment? Are we talking recording, like, like microphones? Are we talking XLRs? Or are we talking, like, cheap pianos or like um, ukulele, stuff like that. Which part do you mean by the music, musical equipment? I just bit my tongue there. That was graceful. Super graceful. All right, let me throw this little keyboard back. No, I'm not putting the cover back in that box. So I'm going to start using that thing. Yeah, it sounds so nice. And like my keyboard now, it's using Cherry Blues. And the Cherry Blues on my current keyboard, they're just, well, here. I'll show you guys the sound comparison. How did I do that? Oh, I hit my button. I'm like, how the heck did I do that? All right, so this is from my current keyboard. It is a removable one, but I can't use this. I can't use this with other ones, right? This can only be used with my setup. But let me, let me pause the music again. And I'll show you guys. This is kind of loud, and you'll see. because it has the mechanical switches. And I'm just starting to lean towards that, I like that thocky sound. All right, recording equipment. Huh. You know, I did get some recording equipment from Timu a while back, but if I'm being honest, it, was, it wasn't very good. It was probably better for kids to play with. It was actually like a soundboard and Basically, it was a USB sound card with a built-in soundboard. It was in one of my older videos. And the microphone was <laughs> the microphone was not good. The microphone itself, the inside, the cardioid, was super tiny. And it wasn't even attached in there. And all of the weight from the actual microphone came from a big slab of metal that was glued in there. So I haven't tested a ton of it, but from the stuff that I've seen, that's probably not something I would get on Timu. You know, little fun things, like, like that light. Fun fact, guys, this light right here has been on for three weeks straight. I just leave it on now. I want to see how long it's going to work. That was a $20 light from Timu. It's got like a thousand different settings, and I haven't turned it off in forever because I don't mind. All right. Yeah, sounds really good. Now, I kind of want to open up these Tagri headphones because they've got a crazy amount of good reviews. Now, I will say this as well, uh, George. Um, I've seen a lot of people buy things on there, like cheaper violins and just weird like little drum type things, tiny metal drums, and a lot of them sound really good. But it's just so far, the recording equipment I've tested out, not great. Like, I actually, I actually just gave it to the kids to play with. Like, I didn't want that to accidentally end up in one of the setups. Now, if you're looking for a good recommendation on a cheap microphone or a recording mic, I, I got one right in the box. I can show you that if you want to see it. Oh, I'm sitting here unboxing this thing, not even showing you guys. Okay, so these are the Tagri X08s. Normal price, $49.99. I'm pretty sure they're currently on sale for like 10 bucks off. So let's see, 33 uh, foot transmission, IPX5, so waterproof pretty much. Six hours on a single full charge, and then standby time, 60 hours, okay. I told them to send me one of each color, 
So these ones are the blues. Oh, they have a lifetime warranty. Damaged, defective, lost product. You don't need to return the original item. What? Guys, if their warranty is actually this easy, that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just see what they say if I scan this. So apparently, you have a lifetime warranty. Whether you break it, drop it, lose it, anything. That's kind of crazy. Even if you lose it, you don't need to return the original item. They'll just send you a new one. <laughs> well, Anthony, I didn't reach out to Tagri. Tagri reached out to me, so I haven't looked too far into it. I'm, maybe at some point I'll get a sponsorship through Raycon. I imagine they do pretty good sponsors because they sponsor tons of people. All right, so we got a USB-C cable in there. A couple extra of the foam or rubber tips. And then here's the case. My biggest thing is I just I hope they sound good. I'll connect them here. I'll tell you guys what I think. No, I won't connect them here. I got to do that in the video. What am I talking about? I can't give everything away. Yeah, it's kind of a sharp look to it. It's got like a little blue stripe on the side. I mean, they look decent enough. But if you want to know how they sound, you got to come back for the video. The video should be out, I'm hoping Wednesday, because we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to be giving away a few of these. I might just keep one for a future comparison later, but we are going to be giving away a few of these. Yeah, I mean, they look decent, they feel decent, but who knows? And we've seen a lot of headphones on this channel, especially when I did that whole video from Timu, right? Hey, Lisa, how's it going? All right, we'll set these off to the side. Yeah, and here's, here's the rest of them. I just opened one of them. They sent me five boxes. And I don't need five boxes of them. That is for sure. Yeah, lots of people do the Raycon sponsorships. Um, I've never reached out to Raycon. Companies like Tagri have reached out to me. You know, I'm still a smaller channel, so most of the sponsorships I get, it's people reaching out to me in general. Usually when I reach out to people, like sometimes it works, you know. My favorite new sponsor, which I want to get back in some videos, is Aura. If you guys haven't seen my, my ad spot on Aura, it's a legitimately solid deal, and it's worth checking out. I am a very happy user of Aura myself. Let's just say it saved me some hassle. What video did I put that in? I'm trying to remember. <coughs> but yeah, Aura is really solid. I like Aura. Totally worth it. I just can't remember what video I they sponsored. They want to do more. I just have to have the time to make the videos and send them to them and get approval. That's how their sponsorships work. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Somebody turned the heat back on in the house. I thought I was getting a little warm in here. We'll switch to this camera here in just a second. Let me just grab my other stand. Thankfully, I've got this set up pretty nice to where this shouldn't be too hard to do. This is what a professional stream looks like, guys. Professional. My darn camera overheated. It's all right, though. We got this. Let me just uh, adjust her a little bit. And then there. And we're back. Easy day. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, thank you for that uh, that super chat, 3D prints. Just as my camera decides to overheat, darn thing, I forgot to open up the battery bay door when I'm live streaming. If I don't have that open, it gets too hot. But what's weird is it doesn't feel that hot. I'm not really sure. Maybe there's dust in here somewhere and I need to check it out. But yeah, that's my camera, Sony CVE-10. It's what I record all my videos on. Pretty much all my videos. Uh, which one sounds like a fidget toy? I forgot what we were talking about, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I got the camera sick. It's probably true. Yeah, man, I've been I've been waking up freaking miserable, coughing and all that phlegm and all that junk. Uh, Hipfire King says, if I'm in South Bend, South Bend, Indiana, is that what you mean? Where can I buy pallets from? Just let me know if that's South Bend, Indiana. We'll take a peek at Marketplace, see if we can find something near you. All right, let me, let me take a peek. Because most of the best places I've found, Facebook Marketplace. Oh, yeah. Here, check this out. So this is just a really quick search here on Facebook. Um, I guess my left, my overhead camera is not going to work. But yeah, I just went into South Bend, Indiana within 40 miles. Pallet sales, boom. They are all over down there. Some of these places will sell pallets. Some of these places will sell individual items. But yeah, I mean, you got a lot of options down there. I would definitely start there. Yeah, Lisa, after the first couple of times my other camera died, I made sure I bought some couple attachments so I could just move my overhead camera over. And the image quality is still decent because I'm using my, I can even resize it like this because I'm using my S22 Ultra now as my overhead camera instead of my old S10 5G. <laughs> but realistically, if I turn the other camera back on now, it'll probably even still work. Nope. I lied. No signal. Let's see. See, what's really weird is the camera itself doesn't say there's any issues. Huh. It says that it's fine. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, no idea. The camera itself is fine. It's not even that hot. Maybe it's an issue with my Elgato stick. I might have to look into that. Well, I mean, Hipfire King, the biggest thing you got to look out for is you got to know whether or not you can trust these people. You know, sometimes you don't know that until you go buy one. Or you can look at Facebook groups, resale groups around you, see if they're talking about us. So you just join the groups, be like, hey, have you guys ever bought pallets from so-and-so on Facebook? If so, how were they? Me, I tend to just take the chance, go try to buy a pallet, see what happens. Because you get to go look at them in person. It's just a lot of times they don't let you dig through them. Some Bluetooth clip style earbuds. I don't know if I would entirely make a video on those because I find those super uncomfortable. So my response to most of those is going to be bad because I'm not going to like the way they feel. Um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, hold on. There was actually a pair I tried a while back. Let me see if I can find them. Ah, here they are. I'm just trying to find the right brand. Okay, these ones actually were pretty comfortable. Is this what you mean right here, Kyle? Because I actually had this exact pair here, the Bimani ones. They got a 40% coupon. They're only 40 bucks. The reviews are really good. I used them for a little bit and then I got my new um then I got my new headphones. So, I stopped I stopped using those. Here, let me show you three a link up. Oh. 
We might as well show you guys what else I got in my Timu packages. This is coming up in my newer Timu video. I know you guys know I'm not making as many Timu videos anymore. Honestly, it's because, well, I got to try to grow the channel and I can't have everything focused around Timu because it's going to make it really hard in the future for me to branch out. You know, I want to review all sorts of tech things. I don't want to just be a, that's the Timu guy. You know what I mean? Well, since my overhead camera's down, this is our unbox camera now. Nope, still ain't working. I'm one, I, you know, I'm starting to think it's the Elgato thing. So this is one of the other things I ordered because this was considered one of the top five most ordered things the week that I ordered it. And you know what? I will say this thing's heavy. This might be the heaviest power bank I've actually opened from Timu. I know we've already done a bunch of power banks and I somehow managed to find a different one. So we'll take a quick peek at it. Again, we're not going uh, too in depth with it. Let's check it out. Inside of the box is kind of all mashed up here, as we can see. Wow, this thing is a chonker. This thing probably weighs like three pounds. Huh. Wow. So we have, let's see, lightning, type C, micro USB, four USB A's. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good little unit. I'll make sure to give it a good test. Turned it on here. I want to see what the screen looks like if they, oh, it might. Hmm. Oh, well, it's got some flashlights on the side. Yeah, so I'll be giving that a full test in that the Timu Top 5 video, you know. But man, that sucker is heavy. And then one of the other Top 5 selling products, what was it? Oh, it was another car jump starter. A little mini um, battery jumper box. I thought I'd give another one a test because why not? So we'll be testing that out too. I'm going to leave it in the box for now. Leave a little bit of surprise for later. <clears throat> and for those of us just joining, uh, this is going to be the giveaway today. Um, I mean, if you just want it, you can enter the giveaway. I'll tell you guys how in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so it's some Kingston Fury DDR4 3400 megahertz RAM. This is gaming memory, brand new. I got a couple sets of it back from Kingston when I filed a warranty, and I don't need two sets. I was going to leave one as the backup for my media computer, but I thought maybe there's somebody out there in the live stream who wants a set. I think it's 32 gigs. 32 gigs, CL16. Nope, 16 gigs. So two times eight gigabyte sticks. Yeah, honestly, jumper boxes. I have a new jumper box, and it is phenomenal, but it's not cheap. I'm going to show you guys the box for it. The actual unit sitting in my car right now. So this jumper box here by Avapow, I bought this on Amazon. I think it was 179 bucks. This thing, I thought it was all smoke. Man, I didn't think this would actually work. This thing will jumpstart anything I connect it to, including a big Cummins diesel or a Power Stroke, anything. It'll just start it. Like, it doesn't care. This thing is tiny, and it is crazy powerful. This thing is an absolute monster. Best battery box I've ever purchased in my life. That thing is killer. <laughs> yeah, that thing is awesome. Yeah, I guess I didn't have a ton of things to unbox tonight. We kind of unboxed it all already. I did say I'm not going to be streaming quite as long tonight. Um, probably another 15, 20 minutes, maybe. I mean, if we get some good combos going, I've just been feeling horrible this week, guys. I'm sorry. It's been a little rough, but, you know, we got a few more things we can talk about, and then we'll do the giveaway on the Kingston Fury Ram. Yeah, actually, Acam, I can pull it up if you want because the thing is awesome. Let me pull it up here. I can't show you guys my Amazon history because it'll give away too much of my video ideas. I got to give you guys a reason to come back and watch them. Uh, let's see. I have a pow. There it is. Yeah, I ordered on October 2nd. Oh, it's on sale, actually. Let's show this here. 
Yeah, yeah. So this right here is the one that I ordered. And if you look here, they have a $20 coupon as well. And they're on sale. So I will snag you guys a link for this right now just in case anyone's looking. That's a killer deal. I'm half tempted to order another one. But the first one works so darn good. And I'm not the only one using it. My brother's been using the heck out of this thing. Uh, yes, Jen, my, um, my white desk does indeed go up and down. It's a motorized desk. If you look right, right about here, you can see the motor. It's got the control on the other side. Um, if you've watched my latest couple scooter videos, those are on different desks that are also motorized. I have a brown one and a black one. The black one's pretty beat up, but, but yeah, actually this desk, I bought this white desk right here from a guy I know who does Amazon pallet sales because I needed a desk to start my channel and I've been using it ever since. I think he sold it to me for like 50 bucks. But yeah, I mean, that thing is awesome. Also, fun fact. So I got, I'm really bad at shipping things out sometimes. And I noticed a few weeks ago, I found a box in the back room that was supposed to have been shipped out from the giveaway stuff for like two months worth of stuff. That's all been shipped out weeks ago now, but there was still something missing. John Hutchins was missing his $200 radio that he won, the little Bluetooth speaker we did with the camera on the front for learning and stuff. And I found it. I found it in the back seat of my car, already boxed, shipping label on it and everything. I didn't use the car for like two months. Totally forgot I was back there. So I don't think John is in here tonight, but we got it out to him finally. Yeah, there's a ton of the desk prices are coming way down. Like if you just go to here, let me pop this up. If you just go to Amazon and type in sit stand desk, I mean, I mean, look, you got 1400 ratings here with a four and a half, 4.6 star. Boom. That's 120 bucks for a desk. That is cheap. The technology is just out there now and there's a lot of really affordable desks out there. Or you can go crazy. You can get the X win. Look at this beast. Holy cow. Look at that. Carbon fiber top, solid steel legs. No, most of them are going to have steel legs anyways. This is gimmicky. I wouldn't buy this. It looks cool, though. It does look cool. I'll give them that. But yeah, those desks are getting real cheap. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, my desk is actually the one I was showing off earlier in the pictures. I'm pretty sure I still have the file open. Yep. So if we switch over to the left monitor again. So this is the desk. I built this out of um, black walnut. There are steel beams running along all three walls and then two support legs in the center because I couldn't find wood thick enough for the price I wanted to spend, but I had to mill all this down myself and I love it. It's not a standing desk though. When I'm editing, when I'm working, when I'm playing games, I want to sit down. I want to relax. When I'm doing videos, I'm standing up most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of, it kind of works out a little better. I, I have sat down in a few videos, but that's why I have that desk. Yeah, because um, I've sat down for a few videos, but not many in a while. But for certain things, I feel like it's a little nicer, you know? All right, so I'm trying to come up with something for the giveaway. What do we want to do? What should we do for the giveaway? Give me some ideas for entering the giveaway. All right, everyone who wants to be in the giveaway, donate $40. I'm kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> totally joking. <laughs> no, my giveaways are always free. You guys know that. Oh, speaking of giveaways, though, I feel like I need to do a little more for my for my joined members. So when I give away the Tagri headphones, um, two pair are going to go to members only. Um, the other three pair, they're going to go to whoever, but two pair are going directly to members only. I just, I want to try to make sure to, you know, show them that I appreciate their support, stuff like that. 
I'm going to start doing some maybe behind the scenes content. And I think also what I'm going to do for the members, you know, that little join button on the bottom of the page. I think I'm going to start putting the videos out a day early for members only. So that's, that's something I plan on kind of putting into the future because I really appreciate the people who support the channel, you know, and I want to try to give back to them a little bit, show them, you know, give them value for their money basically. All right. So first off, let's, uh, you got to like the video. If you're not liking the stream, you better get out of my giveaways. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> All right. So just give me a show of uh, me's. Who would be interested in winning the Kingston Fury DDR4? Who's interested in winning it? Let me know. Just say this isn't for the giveaway. I just, I just want to gauge the interest here. What the Chuck? What's up, man? How you doing? Didn't even know you were in here. Oh, wait. Were you on What the Cat earlier? Oh, no, that was FC The Rock. Okay. Okay, so we got plenty of people interested in it. So let's make a fun one. All right. How do you guys feel about trivia? Unbox analysis trivia. Oh, side drama is never fun. <laughs> I appreciate that, Jen. Oh, I got to crack my neck, man. It's been, whew, it's been rough these last few days. All right, so do you guys think I should do trivia or you think I should do a random name generator or a random number generator and let you guys pick your numbers? What do you think? Well, Anthony, I only left one thing in the car for two months, okay? Okay. Now we got to vote for random number, random number, one for trivia. I'm down to do it either way, but I'm letting you guys pick. Whatever gets the most, random number or trivia. We'll give you the two options. You know what? No, I'm going to make a poll. Hold on. Let me do this. Start a poll. Random number or channel trivia. What's the giveaway you want? You guys get what I'm saying? Whoops, nope, go away. I clicked the wrong button. All right, we're starting the poll. If you guys are interested in the giveaway for the Kingston Fury Ram, you better get your voting on how you want to do it. We're going to give this poll one more minute. Wait, how many votes do we have already? Nine vote. We only guys, we got 16 people in here. We can get more than wait, man, we only got 16 people. We had 25 earlier. <sighs> as soon as I unbox all the stuff. They just leave. It's like you guys are just here for the unboxing. It looks like random number is winning it by a pretty strong margin. All right, that's the time for the poll. We got 10 votes. Random number it is. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to count down in chat. I'm going to count down in chat. I'm going to count down three, two, one. After I count down in chat so you guys can see it physically in front of you, I want you guys to post down a number between 1 and 16. And if you say, say you post a 1, 
but somebody else posted it before you, they get it first. Whatever I see in my chat is first. So after I count down, you're going to put down a number between 1 and 16 in chat. Right after I type in 1. You guys ready? All right, go. Between 1 and 16. Run it. Then we'll just we'll use this one here. All right, what do we got? All right, 3D prints. It looks like George got seven on my screen first. So George or 3D prints, you'll have to pick again. <laughs> I can. It's between one and sixteen. Twenty one's not between one and sixteen. Hipfire, you can't pick all. Oh, you picked again because okay. So Hipfire, do you want fifteen or two? Because you can't have multiple numbers. You're supposed to pick one number. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Your number is now 13, Hipfire. I'm removing the other ones because you can't pick multiple numbers. You're cheating. So I've decided your number is 13. All right, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in the giveaway. That's pretty good odds. Anybody else want to get in? We had more than that in votes. Oh, you picked 13? Oh, you're right. Malice picked 13. All right, Hipfire, you can't have 13 either. Malice picked it first. You got to pick another number. You are right. I'm sorry. Yours popped up right at the top. I did see it. I deleted all your old messages, Hipfire. You got to pick another number that's not picked, and please only pick one number. You're right. I didn't mention the rule. I, I guess I thought that one was obvious, but the rule is you only get one number. So pick your number, Mr. Hipfire. Mr. Hipfire is going with two. Oh, we have Ashik. Getting in on number nine. Also, real quick, just make sure you guys are in the U.S., Canada, or Mexico. I cannot ship these overseas because it would cost me almost the entire cost of these. So if you guys are overseas, please let me know now. And I'm sorry I can't ship these to you. I'm working on some giveaways here in the future that will take care of this problem because they're going to be shipped from companies who already ship overseas. <coughs> so if you are overseas, again, I apologize. But let me know now because you can't enter this one. Sorry, Anthony. Everybody voted, bud. We got. I'm going with the general consensus on this one. Maybe we'll do trivia for the next one, though, because we did trivia once before. It was pretty fun. All right. If you haven't picked a number yet for the giveaway, I'm going to give you guys another 30 seconds. Oh, Ash already picked nine. Uh, Ash, yeah, um, Jenny already picked nine. So again, if you're within the U.S. or Canada and you want to get into the giveaway, you got to pick a number that wasn't picked. I'll give you a little bit to, to double check. I'm going to start typing out the numbers here just for my own sake. So Malice, we got 13. George got seven. Dustin Dragon got 12. What the Chuck? I'm going to type Chuck this time. You guys remember what I typed last time? I bet Chuck remembers what I typed last time. So hip fire is two. 3D Prince is 11. Ashik picked over to 10. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Oops. And then... Did I miss anybody? No, don't spam me numbers. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. We got this typed out. Here we go. Look at the left monitor. Wait, we one, two, three, four, five. We have more than seven people in this. Well, who did I miss? Oh, I can. Oh, I can pick twenty-one. He doesn't. He was letting somebody else go for it. 
Who am I missing in here? Am I missing anybody? I feel like I'm missing. I thought we had more than that. Malice, George, what the Chuck, Dustin, Malice, George, what the Chuck, Justin, Hipfire, 3D Prince, Ashik, Hipfire, 3D Prince, Ashik. I think we got everybody. Really? Only, you guys got a one in seven odds of winning here. Yeah, we'll run it here in about 30 seconds. Wait, Jenny, what, why did I take Jenny? What am I doing? How did I miss that? Dang it. Thank you, Dustin. Appreciate that. Like I said, guys, I am sick. It's been a rough couple days. Actually, you guys want to see what I had to do today real quick? This is, I'm going to show you guys what my day consisted of while being sick. Check this out. I had to move all of these scooters and organize them today. Yep, that was my day. Whew. All right, let me get to a random number generator. Let's get to one that's a little more fun. Uh, let's do a random number wheel. Let me find a wheel. Let's make a spin. Random number wheel. One, two, 16. Well, what is our actually highest number? Nobody picked 16, did they? I think our highest number was actually 13. Did anybody pick over 13? Aside from... A cam, I cam picking twenty one. <laughs> you know what? We'll do we'll do one to sixteen anyways, because maybe we'll just have to respin it a couple times. Oh, I am on steroids, antibiotics. I'm on all the good stuff. When I start feeling real bad these days, I don't take no chances. I just goodbye. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? I don't see any yeses in the chat. I guess I'll wait a little bit. Man, no one's typing yes. Or is my chat lagging again? We got Hipfire typing Yuri. That's that's almost yes. We got what the Chuck typing Yur. That's basically yes. There's a yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. You have your numbers? Spin it. <laughs> Are you kidding? He just said, unlucky 13. And then he wins with 13. Are you serious? I just watched you type in chat. Somebody type in chat, unlucky 13. <laughs> Anthony typed unlucky 13 and malice one with the 13. Is it unlucky now? <laughs> well, Mr. Malice, do you have my Instagram? If you don't, I can link it to you. I will link it to everybody. Feel free to come follow me on Instagram. If you guys have any tech questions, you can occasionally reach out. I do my best to reply. But this is the best way to get a hold of me, uh, to send me your details for your winnings. Nice. Kyle. I think Kyle Brown is a little bit behind in the video because he's just now talking about the power box. But yes, Kyle, that power box is amazing. It is awesome. But yeah, congrats, Malice. You, sir, win yourself a brand new kit of Kingston DDR4, 3,400 megahertz, Fury, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I didn't drop it. I caught it in the other hand. We're good. <laughs> oh, 3D Prince, thank you, for the, uh, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Hey, man, those super chats, they add up. I really do appreciate that, guys. Ooh. Oh, speaking of messages, I have a message on Instagram. Oh, it's from John Hutchins. He missed the stream tonight. That's all right. We'll let him slide. Also, guys, I'm going to let you guys know, I am planning on changing the day and time of the stream here. I just really want to plan it out because with work coming back up and one other really big reason to change it. 
Linus Tech Tips has been streaming at this time every night for 10 years. I didn't think about that. So I think if I switch it to Saturday or maybe Sunday, I'd probably get a lot better you know, engagement. Sunday, 9 p.m. might be a little late. So if I did Sunday, it'd probably be around 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, but I really got to plan it around my schedule as well because normally at this time of night on a Friday, I would actually be out working because I got to get things ready for the weekend. That's how I make more money. So it makes more sense. Um, I'm going to try to decide by next week. So far, next week's stream will still be Friday at 9 p.m. But after next week, the time will change. I'll make sure to let you guys know. But on that note, guys, like I said, it's going to be a bit shorter of a stream tonight. Uh, wait, what do we got here? Google opinion rewards give Google Play credit for surveys. So I figure it may as well give it to someone. I Oh, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. But yeah, so I, I definitely want to switch my stream times, though, because I can't compete with Linus Tech Tips. Realistically, nobody can. Um, but I don't want to either. Honestly, I like watching their streams myself. And usually I'll have them playing while I'm working, you know. I just have it set up in the truck and I'm just listening while I'm going doing all my scooter business. Try tool nut. What do you mean, Anthony? Well, Dustin, hold off on those fans. Um, I've kind of been interested in checking one out. I'm going to reach out to a couple of those companies and that I met at CES. I've got their business cards. I've just, it's been a while taking time to reach out to these people. Um, so I'll reach out to them. I'm going to try to find a better budget option than six to $700 because it would be really cool to have one key here instead of all my cable mess, show my logo or something. That'd be awesome, right? So hold off a bit. Let me try to get some. It could still be, you know, three to four weeks. So be a little patient with me. We'll get, we'll see what I can do. <laughs> yes, but they do look at a lot cooler things, 3D prints. Maybe one day we'll get there where we can show off those crazy cool things or get those really cool deals going. Uh, let's see. Are you talking about like the toolnut.com? Because I don't really do too many tool reviews on here. I mean, I'm definitely more than qualified to do tool reviews, but the toolnut.com, it looks like it sells mostly main brand tools. I'm just kind of looking it up here real quick. I'm curious. Yeah, it doesn't look like their prices are, their prices don't seem very good either. Honestly, they're about in line with Home Depot's normal prices before the sales. Saturday at 7, we'll, we'll see. Again, I will try to let you guys know. I really got to sit down and think this all through and plan it out um, just to get it all going. But I will have a time decided by next week for sure. I absolutely will. But on that note, guys, I think I'm going to get off here and go lay down. I need some rest. But we got a couple cool videos coming out. Um, I got a new scooter video coming out. It's a pretty awesome one. It's a little higher price. It's about, I think, seven, 800 bucks, but it's, it's sharp. We got the mouse video I'm still working on. As you guys can see right here, I have been using the Gravistar M2, trying to get used to it, feeling it out. I'm trying to use each one of these mouses for a few days, um, but I'm going to have that video coming out. It's just I'm putting a little more effort into that video because I don't want to just be like, oh, yeah, it feels nice. Buy it. I want to actually use it, test it out. So I'm going through each one, testing them. So we'll be getting there soon. But hey, I appreciate everybody swinging in tonight. Congratulations to Malice. I saw your message on Instagram. I'll get back to you here in a bit, and we'll get it shipped out to you. So appreciate you all for stopping in, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good night, everybody.